Hello there, and this is Rollo952. Rollo951's Irish cousin, who's kept in the closet. And I've fucking escaped so I can make a commentary and put it on Huma Gaming. Today, I'm going to be talking about my top five Christmas toys this year. These are the five things that should be on your fucking Christmas list. If they're not on this Christmas list this year, then you have got a Christmas list all wrong, sir. Number five on my Christmas list this year is, of course, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 isn't the best game in the world, but it's alright. When I play it, I'm thinking, Purdy Cutty 3, and it makes me a happy person. But it does have its problems. One of the major problems of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is that it's shite. I find this a major problem with the game, because it means I don't have fucking fun while I'm playing it. And if I'm not having fucking fun when I'm playing it, then why the fuck would I play it? That's why it's only number 5, whereas number 4, number 3, number 2, number 1 are considerably better. I'm going to give a brief description of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. You have a gun. And you run around with the gun. And you fucking shoot people with it. And then you jump around going hurdy cutty toy while you're fucking killing them. And that's a fucking game. Number four on my Christmas list this year is Saints Row the Third. In Saints Row the Third, it's like it's a bit like GTA and The Sims. The Sims tree put together. You can make your own fuck. You could. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep swearing. I don't even know why. It just comes out. So basically, you make your guy and you go around killing people. And you can do weird. You can do weird shit like. You can do precision airstrikes from other gangs. It's a bit. It's a bit fucking messed up. But it looks like a bit of fun. It does. It looks like Ireland back in the day, when those Catholic cunts were beating up those parties. It wasn't fucking acceptable. So, we had to fight back. And that is Saints Row. The, the Irish represent Saints Row, in my opinion. Number three on my Christmas list this year is Battlefield 3. No, I don't really know why I'm putting it as number three. Because I've never even played the game. But I fucking assume it's better than Modern Warfare 3. Because Modern Warfare 3 is pretty shite. I don't even know why I play it. It's just because it's the only game I've got that I... That I even remotely like. I'm bored of every fucking game at the moment. So I have to play Modern Warfare 3. That's why I'm looking forward to Christmas. So I can get Saints Row the Third. Battlefield 3. And then the rest of the toys that's going to be on my list. Which I haven't told you about yet. But I think that Battlefield 3 is going to be a good game. Because you can fly around in an aeroplane. And you can go in the tanks and stuff. And it looks really good. Number two on my Christmas list this year is the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Skyrim is a very good game. You could run around with a sword or a bow and arrow or even some sorcery if you really want. And you can kill everyone who gets in your fucking way. You just kill people. You kill fucking dragons and shit. It looks fucking amazing. I definitely would have this on my Christmas mist. Christmas mist? On this, my Christmas list if I were you this year. And now the moment that you've all been waiting for. Number one on my Christmas list this year. Is a potato. Because what can't you fucking do with a potato? You can stir at it. You can eat it. You can shove it up your fucking arsehole. I don't care what you do with it. But it is definitely the best thing you could possibly ask for for Christmas this year. So let me recap my Christmas list this year. Number 5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Number 4, Saints Row The Third. Number 3, Battlefield 3. Number 2, Skyrim. And then of course, number 1, a potato. Because a potato is the best thing that anyone could ever ask for. Now, if you think that this commentary was better than Roller 951 shitting, shitty commentary, then check out my channel. It'll be in the description. So thank you everyone, everyone for watching. 
please rate, comment, and just subscribe. Go and subscribe to Huma Gaming or Roller951. It's Roller951 is a big nose cunt. But subscribe to me, Roller952, because I am the Irishman who represents the nation. So thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you later. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I might make a YouTube commentary. What? Why is Why is Tony Vegas already open? Oh, there's already a commentary here. Rolo knife. Oh, that prick has been on my channel. Rolo, where the fuck are you? I'm gonna fucking kill you.